All right, haves and have not fans, this video is breaking down an interview uh, Crystal Fox, aka Hannah Young, had with the Atlanta Journal Constitution. And this interview actually took place not too long after they filmed the reunion for the haves and the have nots final cast reunion special, um, you know, on own coming next. Tuesday as well as the following Tuesday now if you're a fan of Crystal Fox and have been following her career since in the heat of the night uh, and if you've been watching a bunch of like you know have and have not interviews and specials over the years and much of the news in this article isn't new but I'll leave a link to this article in the description anyway well not description but the top comment so you can check it out for yourself it's pretty good uh, so before moving further make sure you take a moment to hit like and subscribe Follow me on social media, links are in the description below, and hit that bell icon and select all, that way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. So, um, back in 2013, when the haves and the have-nots first kicked off, you know, this was Crystal Fox's first regular TV role since In the Heat of the Night. 18 years, almost two decades between In the Heat of the Night and when the haves and the have-nots came to the airwaves. Uh, you know, at that point, she had figured her days for TV and film were largely behind her. And, you know, in between the gap of In the Heat of the Night, as well as her recurring role on Tyler Perry's House of Pain, she pretty much focused most, most of her time on stage work, such as, you know, musicals and plays around the country and locally at the Alliance Theater. But... Her first big break in quite a while was that audition tape she submitted for the haves and the have nots. And some people may not know this, but she originally auditioned for Veronica and Hannah. So it was not like she focused all of her energy into Hannah. She actually tried out for Veronica Harrington. I think I speak for everyone when I say Tyler picked the right, even though you hate, even though we, I say we, because there are some characters I hate. For the most part, I think Tyler did an excellent job picking the right people for their respective roles, especially if you go back and look at those first two seasons of the show, when I feel like the acting was on point, things weren't too crazy, but for the most part, these characters felt real. They definitely felt real. Um, so, you know, it goes on to just break down how big the haves and the have nots was over the past eight years, you know, blowing own up and allowing other African-American shows uh, like Greenleaf, Queen Sugar and David Makes Man. It was pretty much, you know, Tyler Perry's biggest contribution to the channel before moving over to Viacom with the BET and Nickelodeon shows. Uh, so in any case, the article goes on. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the article goes on to say that after the reunion special was taped, you know, that's when this interview took place. And from there, good Lord, this is just amazing. The, the photos in this uh, article are spectacular. So again, make sure you check out the link I'm dropping in the comment. This is the part that killed me. Okay, let, 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 let's do this. Let's do this. The Atlanta, basically their news, their um, media, they were one of just three media outlets invited to view the taping. This, and I don't want to sound bitter, but this sentence here killed me. About 100 of the show's most loyal fans spent four hours watching the taping without a single bathroom break. They were taken aback by the stories, by the actors, the tearful, you know, moments when they offered heartfelt, you know, stories about the show as well as the fans and what it meant to them. And Crystal herself was overcome with emotion. Um, thinking about what to say before expressing her gratitude to Tyler Perry and everybody involved for the opportunity. I'm just going to throw this out here, but um, I was actually speaking with Angela, a.k.a. Veronica, um, on Instagram. And I just sent her like a just a message. I think it was yesterday. I just said, or was it today? I just simply said, hey, I just want to let you know the hype surrounding the finale isn't dying down anytime soon. Um, everybody's still talking about it. My, I'm getting messages and comments and tweets every day. People like, you know, why don't you, why did you cancel the show? It's like, like I have the power to do anything. And she pretty much said a couple things. First of all, as always, thank you for being a fantastic supporter of the show. Don't underestimate the power you have. And then on top of that, she commented on my Instagram live stream. I posted during the finale, 
you know, a night. And she commented, again, fantastic uh, supporter of the show. I really was hoping to meet with, no, me and the cast were really hoping. No, You know what? Let me pull up the damn comment because when I saw it, my jaw hit the floor. I think I woke up this morning. I was looking through my notifications and I'm like, oh, wow, you know, uh, you know, the cast usually doesn't comment on my live streams. They might like it, but I didn't, you know, I'm not used to a comment. Here, here, here's what she said. Give, give me a second. I got to pull it up here because when I tell you I was done, done, <sighs> killed me, man feel like a donkey you cut me deep Shrek you, you, you cut me real deep for this now and I'm sorry but okay you are awesome thank you for everything through the years I was hoping to meet you at the reunion special wishing you all the success in the world do you know how upset I was reading that because it's like if I had known about the filming of the special I would have done whatever it took to make it from Virginia down to Tyler Perry Studios. I've never been on a plane before, but I would have went to like Danville or Lynchburg Airport and took a flight as soon as I could. I would have grabbed a bus or hell, you know, got a, I don't know, taken, you know, go road trip. I would have gone through hell or high water to make it to Atlanta for that reunion special. So it sucks that the cast wanted to meet me, but I wasn't there. And the messed up part was I didn't know. I didn't know until the day of filming because people were sending me stories. I saw Tyler Lepley, Benny Young posting about it in his Instagram stories. And I'm like, oh, man, they're filming the special in a live audience. Damn. So the fact that I could not be there, but now I know I was wanted there. That just makes me sick to my stomach. And it hurts. Okay, but enough about me. Okay, well, anyway, anyway, uh, we get back to the article here. Uh, why do you think the reunion show became as emotional as it did for everyone on stage? And this answer here tore me up. We realized this was probably the last time all of us would be together for this. We know we'll keep up our individual relationships, but looking at the audience, I thought about how much fun we had with each other and what the loyalty of the fans meant to us. We were all surprised how emotional we got that day. That reminds I look, and I'm not an anti Friends person, but uh, that reminds me of what they said during the Friends reunion. I didn't watch it, but I did watch bits and pieces online. Apparently, they made it clear like this is the last time we're all getting together, like for this franchise. Like you know, we'll still obviously have our friendships outside of this, but this is like the last time us cast members will get together for a big event like this. So it kind of reminded me of that. And remember, this is the final cast reunion, uh, and Tyler Perry was on vacation. So he wasn't able to pop up and John Snyder was unavailable for filming. So Jim Cryer and Tyler Perry will not be there. Uh, and pretty much, you know, it's a situation where even Oprah Winfrey provided video commentary about each one of the characters. And that's freaking amazing. I can't wait to see that. Uh, then, of course, they talk about the first day that Oprah actually came to set. And hell, even uh, I believe a highlight for me was when the show first aired, I got a voicemail. I had missed a call. It was from Oprah. She liked the scene I had done, and I still have that recording. Trust and believe. I still got that tweet, Tyler Perry, which read it the first night the Oval Air. So trust and believe. I know what that feels like. Um, and she talks about how she was inexperienced as an actress when she first started because she never done TV. So in the heat of the night was her first big gig. And uh, she just goes on to talk about her career from that point, why she chose to pretty much, you know, maintain um, a life in Atlanta as a to going to LA and from there she talked about how one day a casting producer for the haves and have nots came out to watch one of the plays and it was Mark Swinton he liked what I did on stage and uh, she auditioned for both Veronica and Hannah she immediately connected with Hannah she recognized women like her you know she hadn't seen a lot of blue-collar matriarchs like Hannah on TV she was raised by women like this and she wanted to do her justice that was to draw to her role I really wanted to do it and after Tyler Perry saw me he said you're Hannah and I was so excited and um, this was pretty good here too Tyler Perry has been so instrumental in building and resurrecting careers it's a gift of a lifetime. The opportunity has afforded me to realize my dreams of living a life as an artist. I'm now able to travel the world in a way I've always wanted to. And, uh, sheesh. This is some good stuff, man. So I really, I mean, this article alone has me pumped and not just because of, you know, the fact that I was wanted, but I couldn't be there because nobody told me. Um, 
I can't wait to hear more heartfelt. You know, it, as a person who reviews these shows and is critical at times, to actually hear these great stories about Tyler and how he interacts with the cast, how the cast love each other, it just makes me appreciate it even more. So again, guys, I have to say, even if you hated the finale, watch the reunion because the cast are reminiscing about their favorite moments on and off camera and their relationship with Tyler Perry and with each other. So, you know, if nothing else, you can reminisce with the cast about when the show was really good. So thank you, Crystal Fox, for doing this interview with um, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. And yeah, tune in to OWN 8 p.m. both on July 27th and August 3rd. And if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I'll talk to you soon.